Let's create a custom slideshow. Here I have a large presentation. I've got 60 slides. And when I turn up at an organization, it might be that they only want me to deliver one section of this and not the whole of it. That's the scenario for a custom slideshow. So in this scenario, I want to create a smaller subset of these slides that I can show at the click of a button or a couple of clicks. So what I'm gonna do is you'll notice that I've started from the slideshow ribbon. And on the slideshow ribbon, I have here custom shows. So I'm gonna to go to custom shows and I don't have any in this presentation at the moment. So I'm gonna create a new one. Then I'm gonna choose a name for it. So I'm going to call this online world because this is the section of my tools for collaboration that I want to focus on. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add this, these slides to the show, accessing your online world. We'll add that. Microsoft, we need to double click. We need to now check the box, which is a new thing. So there we go. We're going to move that one up. So first we talk about what that is. Then we talk about it's a sub, uh, and then we're going to add this one. Oh no, we've got that one twice. We'll remove that one. And then we're going to log into the online portal, log in online and see the app launcher. And then we're going to come down to online apps, online versions, other use. No, we're not going to take that one. So this is my first slideshow. So it's going to, I'm going to rename it accessing your online world because that's what the first section is about and throughout that you saw me add one remove one and move them around so i'll click ok so now i have the first of the of those then i can create a new one uh, and i'm going to call this OneDrive sharepoint because that's what i cover in the next section so let's just go and find OneDrive versus sharepoint i just need to find it here we go one uh, OneDrive versus SharePoint. Uh, what happens if someone leaves? An example of those. Saving documents. How should I deal with those? And we'll get all of these in here. Uh, and we'll leave version history out. So we'll just add those and we'll click OK. So now I have two custom slideshows within my presentation. So if I close that, I arrive at my destination we only want the introduction section. So we're gonna come up to custom slideshow and choose accessing your online world. Now, what will happen is it's only going to show me those slides that were part of that section. And when I get through all of them, it's the end of the slideshow. If I then go and work with a different group of people, maybe they want to see the OneDrive versus SharePoint slides, I have those available to me as well. So what do you think about that option? It's really very useful. And if you're working with somebody and they've asked you to create this presentation for them, and you know that they have these different scenarios and their presentation holds many, many slides, then you can create custom shows for them and then show them how to access their custom show when they get to their destination.